I'm talking about bragging rights. The congressional baseball game is about to get underway. Yes, maybe this is the thing uh -huh. that will this help will build it. some consensus. <laughs> Democrats and Republicans have both won 42 games apiece. So tonight Ooh. is the tiebreaker. Tie yeah, this is happening at mm. Nats Park. A lot on the line, obviously. Our Tom Dempsey is there right now. And Tom, these lawmakers also have a lot of work to get done. Uh, what's the mood out there tonight? Well, we're still seeing uh, some of the leaders show up to this game, but of course I got the lucky assignment on a Wednesday covering the congressional baseball game. Beautiful weather outside. I, of course, forgot my baseball hat and glove, but I can see the George Washington mascot walking around the concourse right now as we have some more players showing up uh, right here. Of course, this is not just a game, as you were saying. It's a big uh, social event, D.C. style for some history. It dates back all the way to 1909, and uh, Nats, Nats Park expects to welcome thousands of people for it all. We've been watching the field crews uh, getting the field set for this game. First pitch set for 7.05 this evening. Uh, this year got delayed all the way to the fall after after last year's game was canceled due to the pandemic. But as you guys were saying, uh, the timing of this game, wow, such a busy week on Capitol Hill with things like the debt ceiling being discussed by leaders, things like President Biden's economic agenda and the leaders also trying to avoid a government shutdown. Again, we've been seeing players kind of enter the field. You see uh, some of them stretching here. We see a Dodgers uniform right there. Again, thousands of people expected to be here uh, later today. Tickets going for 10 to 15 bucks and uh, all the money uh, being for this game being raised for local charities. As we said, first pitch set for 705. Some uh, the rosters for this game, as you were saying, setting the stakes 42-42. Uh, so major bragging rights. Uh, on the line for this game tonight, we have, uh, you know, former presidential candidate Representative Tim Ryan from Ohio playing for the Democrats. Representative Eric Swalwell from California playing in the game. On the GOP side, we have uh, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene from Georgia and Senator Rand Paul from Kentucky. Just some of the names playing in the game tonight, but should be fun to watch. And as we said, the timing of it all coming on a very busy week on Capitol Hill. As we said, first pitch set for 7.05. Live at Nats Park, I'm Tom Dempsey, WUSA 9. Yeah, let's hope there's some subtle negotiating over this uh, funding bill taking place there tonight as well. Tom, thank you.